So you had to go to Hong Kong? Yeah, I had to go to Hong Kong and mm-hmm. I went to go order uh, ginger beer, not alcoholic. And uh, they're like, would you like it warm or cold? I'm like, warm, warm soda. Okay. Anyways, it was an interesting experience. My, my teacher chewed me a new one because she thought I was ordering alcohol on a school trip. That was fine. Didn't have to worry about that too much. <laughs> you know, one time I went to uh, England while I was still in school and my, uh, my father and my brother visited me. So we do a night out in London and all of a sudden um, we go to a pub first thing in the morning, get some food. And once again, I like ginger. So I'm like, I'll have two ginger beers and a Guinness for my father. And the guy looks at us and he looks at me like I just insulted his mother. He's like, you know, we have alcoholic ginger beer, right? And I'm like, I did not, but sure, I'll have some. Anyways. It kind of, for some reason, I don't know why, but you just got me remembering about uh, uh, the World Cup and I think 2008 and uh, being in a pub in England and we were watching England play uh, Germany and we were all back to the front in this small little pub and they were passing uh, bottles of beer you know, over everybody's head and you, everyone passed the money back to the bar and, you know, nobody spilled a drop, you know, I, I guess that's just a sign of the you know, Englishman and their pints. So it was kind of interesting. Hi, John. How are you? I'm well, Alec. Yourself? I'm doing good. Thank you. So what would you like to talk about, John? I'm well, thank you. Uh, my name is John Grant. I am the vice president of sales for Recovery Planner, one of the sponsors. And I just wanted to uh, say hi and introduce myself. Oh, great. I think I, we had uh, one of your colleagues in here yesterday. Um, you guys had a draw for a $100 gift card, if I recall. So, yeah, we're going to have another drawing today. Um, and we'll announce that. Okay. Um, I'm off. Uh, we finish in uh, less than an hour. Oh, my goodness. Uh, at 2.30. So, uh, if you've got uh, your winner before then... Uh, let me know, and I will announce that winner here as well. I actually have that winner na- winner now. Oh, would you like to announce it now? The, her name is Michelle Wall from the city of Regina. Michelle Wong from Regina. Regina. Michelle Wong, congratulations. And I assume uh, Recovery Planner will reach out to Michelle uh, and uh, let her know, in case, just in case she doesn't hear, hear it this way. You're in America, aren't you? Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm in New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Oh, what's it like out there? Um, it's a beautiful sunny day today. A bit windy, but uh, a little cold. Going down into the 30s tonight. 30s. Uh, oh, what's that in Celsius? Uh, well, that's cold anyway. Yeah. <laughs> in, any, in any temperature, that's cold. <laughs> that's, zero, that's almost zero in Celsius, I think. Oh, you might get some frost tonight. Ooh, not good. Okay, it's too early for that. Yeah. yeah. I, so I, we've I enjoyed this uh, conference, um, the virtual conferences. Uh, we've been lining them up. I have another one next week as well. And the um, technology is a little bit difficult to get used to and figure out in the beginning. But, you know, once we get into it, we're uh, enjoying it. And uh, we've had a lot of uh, activity at our booth, and uh, we appreciate it. And hopefully, we'll uh, we'll get some business out of this and help some companies uh, with their BCP DR programs. Good. Well, with these virtual conferences, outside of the technology, you know, are are you finding it uh, challenging in other ways? Are you trying to connect with people, or you know, what what are some of the other challenges that, uh, as a vendor, you're experiencing? So meeting with people face-to-face is always optimal. Uh, We go to all of the shows across the country and around the world. And, you know, getting to meet people you've been talking with and and dealing with over the years is really great. It's really great. Um, So that's the one thing that I miss uh, with the virtual conference. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully one day uh, we'll all be in the same room again. You know, at some point we will be. You know, yep. just, we're just not sure when, you know. Well, congratulations to Michelle Wong uh, from Recovery Planner, a uh, $100 Amazon uh, gift card. You know, um, lucky her. I, I've yep. 
I spend too much time on Amazon. I could do with that card, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great, John. Is there anything else uh, you'd like to tell us about Recovery Planner? Or? Well, we're excited about our mobile app. Uh, the mobile app's really, really uh, taking on a, uh, a life of its own now, and our mobile app is uh, a pocket version of the site. So we have a web-based application, and with the with the mobile app, you're able to uh, virtually do everything you can from the site itself. Launch, activate plans, activate teams, notifications, and monitor those notifications, monitor the disaster uh, real time on the cell phone. Nice. And, and John, it's cold jumping in here. I'm the meeting host. Uh, if you don't mind, what's the app called? And can you download it on the iOS store, the Play Store? Yes. You can, it's, it's both iOS and Android. Um, and uh, yes, you can download it at the, uh, uh, at the store, uh, iPhone or the uh, um, go, RPX Mobile. RP or? RPX Mobile. Okay. RPX Mobile. Correct. Okay, great. So th is that relatively new? A, a new product? Oh, Didn't is, hear that, you. is that a relatively new product? No, it's been around for quite a few years now. Um, but we've in the last year invested quite a bit of development, bringing it up to speed and mm. creating better capabilities with the software. Ah, nice. Well, if there's ever a time where, uh, you know, things like that are needed, it's now, right? And we also include a certain number of licenses. We also include a certain number of licenses with each contract that we sign. So, you know, it could be 10, 15, 30 uh, app licenses with a, uh, with a contract. So all the crisis management team, as example, let's say 20 people <clears throat> could all have the same thing on their phone, you know, knowing that they're all in different places. Correct. Correct. On the same page. You know, Murphy's Law, uh, uh, a disaster strikes, you know, you're sitting in traffic, you're at home sleeping, uh, you know, so the mobile app makes it very easy to get involved and start the process of the recovery yeah. from anywhere. Disasters never happen when you want them to. Right. And it's a native app, too, so you don't have to have access to the Internet. All the data is resident on your smartphone. Oh, nice. Okay. <clears throat> so just out of curiosity, um, with, with Recovery Planner, is, is, can you tell us a little bit about you know, your history, how long you've been around? So with RPX and Recovery Planner, we've been around for 21 years. We're the oldest company, software company, in the industry at this point, owned by a single entity. Consulting and software is all we do. Uh, last year, we were named the Service and Product of the Year by Disaster Recovery Institute International. Uh, this year, 2020, we had our senior consultant, Sherry Flynn, was named the Consultant of the Year. So we've got a lot of accolades over the years, a lot of awards. Good. Congratulations. So what's the future hold for Recovery Planner? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What does the future hold? Well, the future holds a new version uh, we're coming out with called RPX Plus. And RPX Plus is going to have a new interface, uh, user interface with it. And it's going to also have some advanced features and capabilities that it does not have now. It's going to provide all of the capabilities we currently have with RPX. Uh, and it's going to have then additional capabilities as well. Drag and drop, uh, customizing pages for individuals and so forth. Oh. It's pretty exciting. We're looking to bring it out somewhere around the end of the year, first quarter. Oh, good. Then we'll look forward to that. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's a nice, nice looking product. Good. Any final final words on the recovery planner? Anything you want people to know or is anything about the conference or you know, your viewpoints on any, any business continuity happenings right now? Well, I've been in this business for 24 years. I started off at Comdesco. I've always been selling software. And I remember my manager used to say that there were two documents that every planner has to have up to date. One is their plan and the other is their resume. Um, we have, uh, we've seen a lot of people furloughed in this industry. Um, and it's, it's sad, you know, it's, it's, it's 
a fact of life. It's, uh, you know, it's just the way it is. But I think that there's going to be a strong comeback. And I think there's going to be a strong resurgence in this industry in the coming years, because people have learned valuable lessons through this disaster that we're going through right now with COVID. And, you know, their plans, uh, we have a pandemic template in our software that all of our clients are using. And, you know, we are assisting them in every way possible with the, uh, with their program, getting back to work, you know, working safely in their environments and uh, even working remotely. Great thing about RPX, the web-based application, uh, you can work anywhere. As long as you have the internet and a computer, you can work anywhere with, with RPX. So it, it's an advantage there because people are home. It does, they don't have to be in the office to, uh, to, to use RPX. They can work from home using it there and managing their program, managing their recoveries. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, it's sad, but it's exciting. Uh, I think the future uh, holds very well for this industry. Great. Well, thank you. Uh, I do like your comment with the two two documents, the resume and the plan. I, I, I haven't heard that before, but I, I think I'm going to use that going forward. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would be a John Jackson told me that. John, oh, John. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he used to be my boss at Comdisco. I remember Comdisco many years ago uh, visiting that site. Uh, Oh, well, let's just say many years ago, you know, in Toronto, yeah, yeah. in Mississauga. <laughs> yeah, I went to work with them in 1997. I knew the founder of the company personally, Ken Pontigas, because uh, he was a very close friend of my boss and Mike Ditka. And the three of those guys hung out a lot. Uh, you can see right there, there's a picture of Mike Ditka. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's limousine works. That's an iron mic. We built a special model limousine for him called the Iron Mike. And um, I would drive them around in it all the time. So I got to meet Ken Pontigas and, and all of these guys. And, you know, it was, it was pretty cool. I get to drive Mike Dicker to his football games on Sundays as well. Nice, nice. So it was, it was a limousine <laughs> manufacturing company at the time I was working for. So it was fun. I enjoyed it. And, um, you know, as soon as I got the opportunity to jump into disaster recovery, business continuity, I took it. Yeah, uh, that, was, I, that was at Comdisco, so it was very, very fortunate. Yeah, I think Comdisco was the very first uh, um, vendor that I ever dealt with when I first got into uh, business continuity back in uh, you know around ninety seven ish. They know, founded uh, this industry. They created this industry. Yeah, I remember that. You know, a long David time. Nolan. David Nolan. He's the guy who started it all. He's with Fusion. Uh, I remember Fusion. That name. That name's ringing a bell. You know, from yeah. even way back then. So. Yeah, 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 from way, way back. So, yeah. All right, well, thank you very much, Alex, for your time. I appreciate it. I wish I got to turn off that tab a little bit sooner because it was... <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> making me look but crazy. You got to hear me in stereo. Not, not many get to do that. So. <laughs> but thank, before you... Do was a, yeah, there was a seven-second seven delay is what was going on, so... What was it? <laughs> and nobody was swearing, so... <laughs> yeah, so, but I appreciate your... Uh, from 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 me to to you and uh, the conference, you know, at Recovery Planner. Thanks for uh, you know being a part of this, and uh, you know, without your contributions and help, this conference wouldn't happen. So thank you very sure. much. To you at Recovery Understood. So Glad you. to participate. Thank Great. you very much. Good to meet you. Take All care right. and enjoy the rest Thanks. of the uh, the day. Will do. Thank you. Take care. <clears throat> so that was John Grant from uh, Recovery uh, Planner. Uh, it's good to uh, talk to uh, to him and meet him. And I realize how far back he went. He uh, mentioned Comdisco, uh, who I used to uh, have some dealings with way, way back uh, in my uh, <clears throat> early days, my very early days, uh, going to their uh, site in Mississauga, Ontario. Um, that was quite, quite a long time ago. Boy, I feel old all of a sudden. Um, but also he mentioned uh, that uh, we had, or they had a, a second draw for a $100 uh, gift certificate, Amazon gift certificate. And the winner was Michelle Wong from Regina. And, uh, you know, John gave it away that he was from America when uh, he said Regina. So I knew he wasn't from up here. <laughs> but uh, thanks, John, for joining us and congratulations, Michelle. If you liked that video, thumbs up. If you didn't like that video, thumbs down. But leave me a message and let me know your thoughts. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. And in the meantime, stay prepared, everybody.